Facts First presents Fisherman spots strange turtle floating in the water and calls for help when he sees it up close. Sea turtles are amazing creatures. They're often found deep underwater because it's where they find their food. The loggerhead sea turtle has been a threatened species since 1978. Each time a loggerhead sea turtle dies, the species is that much closer to dying out forever. While out on the water one day, a fisherman sees a strange turtle floating in the water and he gets closer and quickly calls for help. The fisherman saw the turtle floating on the surface of the water and he knew something wasn't right. It's very odd to see one of these creatures just floating on top of the water. Immediately after seeing the sea turtle, he brought it up into his boat because he knew that it needed help. After getting the sick turtle on board, he contacted the MCP to let them know that this creature needed help. Before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click that like button to help spread the word about Facts First, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Immediately after getting this sick turtle onto his boat, he realized why the turtle couldn't go under the water to feed. Sadly, there were hundreds of barnacles attached to the turtle, forcing it to remain on the surface of the water, and it didn't take long before the turtle was suffering from malnutrition. When the MCP did get food and nutrients into the turtle, he started gaining strength, and that made it possible for them to do some further testing on the turtle. They wanted to be sure that there were no plastics in his intestines, which is common these days because of all the pollution in the waters. It's not uncommon for people to dump garbage in the ocean. Also, when beachgoers have trash, they'll often put it in plastic bags, which easily end up in the ocean when a strong ocean wind blows. This is the reason that many beaches today don't allow plastic bags even for garbage. Instead, they expect visitors to bring paper bags for their garbage. When the doctors didn't find anything in the turtle, they started to remove the barnacles. This was a difficult process because barnacles are extremely hard to remove. They had to remove each barnacle one by one, which was extremely time-consuming. The process had to be done very slowly to avoid hurting the turtle. Even after the barnacles were removed from the turtle, it still had a long road ahead towards becoming healthy. The turtle was near death when he was found. It took a long time before the turtle was strong enough to fend for itself in the ocean. Getting the turtle healthy was an uphill battle. The end goal is for one day the turtle to be healthy enough to be reintroduced into the Tasmanian Sea. Until that happens, though, the turtle will keep getting the medications it needs to regain its strength. This fisherman who found the turtle did an amazing thing by pulling it up into his boat and contacting the correct agency to properly care for the turtle. Had he just left the turtle floating in the water, it would never have survived. Just a couple more days floating in the water, or less, and those barnacles attached to it would have killed him. As the turtle fought to get to the bottom of the water, it was using the last bit of its energy. According to the doctors at the MCP, the turtle likely would not have made it even a single day in its condition. Thanks to the fisherman, the turtle is now on the mend. He made it so that there will be one more healthy loggerhead sea turtle in the water. Considering that the species has been threatened for four decades, the fisherman's actions helped to prevent it from happening even faster. According to the MCP, when the turtle's released back into the ocean, it'll have no problem taking care of itself. Since most loggerhead turtles travel on their own, the fact that it will be alone won't really be an issue. As long as they wait long enough for the turtle to regain its strength and heal, it should live a long, prosperous life in the Tasmanian Sea. Kudos to the fisherman who took the time to save this helpless and danger turtle and get it the care it needed. Subscribe for more!